That series that I am mentioning is VP won all four pistol rounds, and it was online. Okay, so some serious caveats there, um, most definitely. I, I'm still surprised that VP, you know, aren't in that 2-0. I thought they'd be coming in with such a sheer will and determination. Well, when you're going up against Vinny and the boys over yeah. there on Imperial, right, you're going to have a tough time. They learned that the hard way. But their opponents only being against the Brazilians. But here we go. 1-1 one, one bucket. End of the best of threes for both of them. But who will have two chances and who will have the back against the wall and have to battle their way out? Aggressive stance towards Cave. Not going to be followed through. Nikodos holding that shift key. And as we can see... I'm making a mess. It's all right. Nothing's happened just yet. Good. All five members of Virtus Pro starting to waltz their way in towards a main. To receive, highlighted, is Shush. The temple position. We'll have company in a moment's time. Two smokes, a flash, and a HE as the barrage of Util. Here it comes. Shush. Putting on that tight line. Jump spotted by Jame. Oh, perfect flash. Couldn't really get blinder. Nerds won't be required as well. They're all into the site. Split to plant. We're going to have a 5v5 retake as he unloads all of those bullets. They start to find Norbert. Forced into a reload. More damage to Norbert. How is he still going? Looks like Swiss cheese right now with 9 HP. He's got fame for the trade. Clean one from fame. It's a double. When Jame on top, it's already pretty much sealed the deal. Nikodos not going to get far with his Zeus retake. That is, he has finished off Norbert, but there's Jame with his second. And options very limited for nerds. And around, see if you can find anything else at an extra $300 or so to the bank balance. But he will be packing off with the dual Berettas. He's still got company around elbow. Does nerds get to retain the Kevlar and the Julies? Uh, the answer is. Yeah. You no! Know. Sorry. He spoke too soon. I did. I don't know. It looked like Mir was giving, it, giving him a little bit of a break, but no, not well, to be. That's what he wanted him to think. Yeah, it's all about that 5D chess. But uh, one hell of a start. It's such a, a calculated pistol, keeping it really well ironed out. One of the details I like is the fact that they've gone for temple control. Right, when teams take the A site, you need some space, especially if you're smoking off Donut and CT. If you just stay towards Big Box and Main, you can get uh, covered off quite easily. So the fact that they played forward, took Temple, closed down the range with the Glocks. Nice little detail there from Virtus Pro. As this is their first test of the Major against a big name. I understand they lost to Imperial, but it has just been Brazilian opposition up until this point and flit quite quickly into full cave control. Boost over the smoke. Will not net any rewards for Nerds. Let's see if it takes him as long to get activated today as it did yesterday against Complexity. That was so uncharacteristic for Nerds. One of my favorite players to watch by far. Even his aim was just a bit wobbly. Mm. Ouch, that will leave a mark. Flit doesn't really get anything with his SMG. Now Jame, after having one bullet hit him, maybe feeling a little bit under the pressure of these uh, SPs. Even a P2K for kicks in, but... Holding on to their AKs. Kicks it really wants conversion. that. There he's it is. Got it. Wow. They know he's close. <laughs> <laughs> Disappears off the floor. I wonder where that hmm. went. He's what? actually thrown it down. It's landed nicely onto the head of Shush. Thank you very much. I don't think he'll even get a, an opportunity to wield it to success. 13 HP. Knows ah. he wants to operate with something a little bit nicer into the next. And desperately charges through the doors. All five going down. Nerds to the bomb. That's a 2-0 start for Virtus Pro. Four out of the five major champs. Back in Rio. Yeah, I love that run from uh, the VP boys. It was outsiders at the time. Yeah. All right, first gun round. What type of tone will be set? Red smoke. And cave smoke, so standard map control being vied for. We're, we're gonna have to take the laptop and show Valve the, the hitches with the jumps and say, hey, uh, what do you think of this? 100%. A rush from VP. Redeploy of elbow smoke. A little bit shallow. Feels like it missed the mark, doesn't it? 
forward stance from three players and a fourth joining the party of nerds. They will be backing off. Nice little combo to try and get back ramp control. Nurse is hanging around. He... Oh, that's, that's a, a nice very day. well timed HE. Credit where it's due for the mid hold there. Well, it looks like Hero know what they're up against, right? That nade, I think, is quite telling. So they postured forward, but it wasn't an all in. They weren't going to get caught off guard by VP's retake utility. Now all of them heading over towards B for a finish. Smoke, flash, molly. Is it a short smoke? Is it a long smoke? Where does the molly land? Likely pillar? Are they just playing retake? Like, Kixon's in cave. If this molly and then smoke lands, you're going to have no options available. Just letting them in. Oh, goes uncleared. Testus will find fame. And he's going to go down. It's flitting all but combined, but will they overlook Kixon? They would surely suspect a two-man hold. A whole lot more than that now as Shush rotates in comfortably, finding Mir, takes him off the site. Norbert into the post plant's gonna have to occupy ramp as they look to re-clear. You can see these two T's moving into K through Jag. All about their timings. Norbert responsible to check the plant. Kicks and can be occupied. Patience rewarded. Still goes down. Nurse has found one and it's only the one for James. Just in the nick of time, they get on the defuse. Okay, no stress. Well handle round. Interesting. I mean, looking at the setup, when five T's are in, but planting the bomb, you've only got cave. I feel like that favors the T's. Well, no? they're more than happy to play for the retail, like you mentioned. The thing is, if the smoke was towards cave, then you're in real dramas because they're going to push up deep. They can constrict control. The fact that it was long side with the molly towards the pillar, it meant that they can't even push into cave or even clear it properly. Uh, Tessa's got the jump on them. So we've set up worked in their favor. Still a tactical timeout to be called from Heroic. International squad with three Danes being represented and a Finnish coach of Saw. So either liked what he saw and wants to reinforce it but he definitely has a lot to say. We've got Dust on the coach on the other side. One of the lead priests of the cult of Jame. It's one hell of a cult, isn't it? I, th I feel like uh, Virtus Pro are the uh, embodiment of the how, just how scientific you can be in your approach. Wait, am I stupid? Okay, yeah, maybe I am. Hold What's on. up? Nothing. Just I don't want to even admit my ignorance. Okay. I won't let you admit your ignorance. Thank you, thank you. Hold on one second. Wait, yeah, they didn't defuse the bomb? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What happened? There was three alive. It was a... T Did no one have a kit? But it we didn't see it. it. No, we cut out of game. Well, oh. then, that's not our bad. Well, it's still, Heroic didn't win that round, And that chat. explains the timeout. That would explain it. So that's got nothing to do with us. Well, I still feel a bit stupid. And that's probably why Kixon had a bit of a sour yeah, face when yeah, he left he the did. He did. Well, the score is 3-0 in favour of VP. So, okay. yeah, the setup was bad for her. Well, I need to You're wake right. up. I need to wake up. What? Oh, we didn't have the action on our screen. Nico does. It gets two. There we go. Lovely start flip. Comes from heaven for the one. Great. Tess unable to do it. Going full pedal to the metal. That time up was essentially go kill. And uh, they've gone died. Going to be Kixon and Shush left isolated sight each. I just want to just say, don't blame yourself, oh, all right? Man, that feels so silly, doesn't it, though? But it's all right. Felt like Heroic had just won their first round. Instead, a, a potential 4-0 to start us off here. Norbert, a little bit of chip damage from Kicks, and he landed one bullet. Good deny this. Oh, good spam. Good spam. Damn. Shy of the mark. Doesn't get the finish, but James low. The rotation is coming, so they are going to give this a, a look in. And there is a kit present on Kixon, thankfully. Angle from Jame, not going to work out for him. Good find from Kixon. Hidden behind the box. Norbert. Gives him the fight, catches the perfect window of opportunity now. And Norbert should have them both dead. Now to Shush, time-sensitive mission. There's a smoke towards the bomb. Has he got the kit? Yes, he has. He has to hold it now. Spam will come through from Flit. Getting a bit stressed, getting a bit concerned, but he hits it all nonetheless. And another VP round on that B site finish. Now this time we do see the bomb go off. 4-0. Makes a whole lot more sense regarding the tactical timeout from Saw. So this is Heroic struggling to get things underway. Nikodos with a double, but then the immediate trade. Flip with one back, Jame grabs one, and then a push. 
And we saw this with Heroic against the phase yesterday. Some of the scenarios where they would just be a little bit too active coming back to bite them. Split starts the campaign back into the five on three disadvantage and wins out the one on one. Oh, just actually. Be, have we been tricked again? Did Heroic somehow actually win that round, Alex? <laughs> I've, I've, I've got can we, can we 100% check? confirmation. The score is four to VP, zero to Heroic. All right, all right, yeah, all right. That's right. down on the mic, though. So I'll get quickly back in as well. Man, yeah, Heroic. It's going to be slipping away from you rather quickly if this T-side keeps it up like this. Jame, 130 ADR. I think a positive is how hard fought for the last few have been, and it's facilitated right now another buy for Heroic, right? Because they would have had so many members stay alive, even though they didn't defuse the bomb, they would have been able to get away from the bomb. So then we saw another gun round, so then they have residual cash. Now we get another gun round because of the loss bonus. So they can slip in here, still one away. BP are the ones who are going to be feeling the financial woes. Interest rates at an all-time high. Let's flit. Oh, he saw a barrel, I'm pretty sure. It is open. Church. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's the canary in the coal mine. He's going to be the early warning system, but more than warning, he's just going to be pushing straight through the smoke. Norbert onto Shush. That does at least neutralize the threat initially. Kixon still going down at B. Flit knows he's really flexed there by finding Kixon all the way disconnected. This retake gets uncomfortable for Heroic. He could ask Tassus and Nerds trying to fight. Back into the site, it's held though. The crossfires are established. Try as hard as they might. Nurt still finds Jane. See you, kid. And Tessus on to Norbert. This is awkward now. It's only really Mir from Main. This late flank from Donut might have to do it all. Smoke onto the bomb. Nurt defusing. Finds a safe angle for it. One more oh. second in it, but he knocks <laughs> them off. It's the first flank from Flit. Perfectly timed. Flit just so annoying, and everybody goes down with the ship there. 5 0 for VP. What a tilter. Bro, ah. this, whole, this whole start to the game is going to have Heroic completely thrown off. You see Shush there abusing the smoke molly interaction. I was as thinking well. about it. Honestly, my first thought was, Chad, put that on the laptop. Yeah, right. We got to, That's another one. Take uh, it to the Volvo you boys. You can push out the cusp of the smoke when the flames are on the floor, and the way that they interact when you're just on that edge, you're able to find a safe haven. For vision and frags. If, and if you want to kind of understand exactly the specifics of it, go into an offline server, throw, a, yourself, throw a smoke, yeah. throw a molly next to it, and you will you can find it very yeah, comfortably. it's a safe space. I, I think one of the dramas there as well was the smoke not landing directly on top of the bomb. So they used it. It didn't land perfectly. It felt like there was even a gap for the main player to win Did. out that duel, but it was flit with the flank. And he was just so annoying. You said it made the retake uncomfortable. Of course, because the pressure from behind was always going to be there. Is he going to be quick? Can he go all the way around red? Will he rejoin the pack over right. towards A main? We don't know where Flit's gotten off to. And Kixon, well, he was pinned down towards that aggressive doors position the entire time. Heroic, you got to get started. This best of one running away from you. So they will have a couple of investments here. Yeah, starting with uh, the Chad Birchall special, Red Room, Cave Smoke. The two standard pieces of util you tend to request. And into a B exec. Boost is up. It's not, oh, slippery. Nikodos has fallen off and, oh no, you lose your rifle to a jumping Mac 10 It's a good dig out of kicks and the fact that he got two there, admirable, more than he was worth. Did he pick up the rifle? I was looking at the crosshair. Yeah, I don't know if he even did. I think he might have been just out of his reach, but the Deagle works. Now Shush has picked himself up the M4. Faked it. Rush, yeah, perfect play. Wow, VP are just looking so regimented, so calculated, and a perfect scoreline so far. One of the things that I would uh, have instructed the team if I was Jame yeah. and Dustan is that Heroic are like a team that like to keep a move on. He must have picked up the M4. Unless he got naded away or something, right? Because... Nikodos died directly on top of him. Yeah, anyway, it, it, it's here nor there. But yeah, that you're expecting this team to push smokes, to stay active, to always be moving, looking for fights, looking for space, trying to be as disruptive as possible and not let us set up. So if you're VP, just make sure you don't get caught with nades in your hand. Make sure you don't get caught out of position sleeping. <laughs> They're calling such direct I hits, love this. Chad. This is great. Nice find from Nikodos. Still coming in. Yeah, Norbert. He's done it once. Can he do it again? Look at him flying with this Mac 10, finding the gap, kicks and communicating, shouting at Shush. They're pushing you, they're pushing you. Look at Norbert. Shush has got no, no. bullets for that. That's crazy. <laughs> Where's He's he going? At CT spawn. And if Mir finds this frag, hold on, Chad. This could be the most uncomfortable 2v4. 
Where are you going, Norbert? Yeah, he's living his best life. That's what he's doing. The reload. Oh, there's no way. Nikodos. Wait, how are they so confused? Guys, why are we looking away from it? The distraction. Live now, Mir. You've got the frag. Convinced he'll be behind them now. This is unwinnable. But he could literally Norbert. be anywhere. Sure. He could literally be oh, anywhere. Oh, oh, no way. He's gotten away into the 1v1. Norbert, oh, oh the <laughs> damage. That's one hell of an attempt there. A double kill from Norbert. He disappeared in a puff of smoke. What a buzzard, right? He's just like all around. They've got no idea. They're shooing him away. He keeps coming back. Cloak and dagger counter. Oh. Great opener. Yeah, caught on the jump. Nice shot from Nikodos. Defensive there. smoke. Fame goes down with the disbursement. And Kixon gets a double. Make it a triple on the Famous. Into the AK for the final. The in-game leader gets Heroic there first. But only just. Look at the purchase on Heroic. Who won the round? Yeah. That's mad. Three SMGs. Thanks to the, the uh, dirty work of VP. I've been keeping him incredibly humble. And now a change in the flavor. No longer is it going to be those direct. We've seen a direct A into back-to-back -back B. How things will slow down and return to a degree of, of normality. Yeah, no C added. Yeah. Valorant lol. Oh, hoi, hoi, hoi. That's, that's the, the line in the sand there, right? Shush, you're not going to be visible to Jame. Jame not visible to him. Fame, on the other hand, is going to be spotted out. Shush will uh, throw the panic incendiary just to delay. And no need for a full reaction. Nikodos' orp is floating around CT, responsible for the red slip. But it works as they'd hope, right? They take contact, they know someone's close, likely to draw at second eyes to help out the A defense, gives them a bit more space over towards middle. Now it's about clearing out Tessus in cave. That's a bait smoke, but that's a bullet between the eyes. How are they so prepared for that? You can see Kixon's face as well. He's like, I just threw the smoke. Why are they clearing you so diligently? And the answer is probably that Flit's just a sicko. 10 frags so far from Flit. High impact, a round winning uh, flank through Gona. Another good shot from Nikodos. It's all oh. on the retreat. He's not going to go down. Jane rarely misses those. I don't think he missed it. It clipped through that corner. Just a little bit narrow. Nikodos gets a second wind, a second chance at life. They don't get the bomb down anytime they see fit. With 14 seconds, it is becoming a bit of a priority. Molly fading. Yeah, Jane onto Shush. That should do it. Wall bank could hit. Doesn't. They're out of there. The way out and oh, down goes Nerds as well. We saw how limited their funds were and straight back to uh, a VP win. Yeah, you're yelling if you're VP and... Whoa, actually, you're not. I thought they were hunting. Look at how immediate they were all trying to pipe down Speedway and chase this. I think Nikodos has gotten much further away because they'd rerouted. Two will be coming down. Oh One will be God. made. He is boxed. He's got no hope. That's just beautiful. It's a cruel... It's calculated, and this is where VP are uh, uh, playing their best Counter-Strike. This is what it looks like on a good day from VP. It is so difficult. If you try and imagine what this has been like for Heroic in these opening rounds, they are having zero fun. Negative fun. <laughs> well, that was the flit opener, just more than ready for that Tessa's play. Good impact from Jame. Yeah, dude, and then he immediately starts running a main to chase the orb. It's really just, uh, I mean, brutal. I think Dustin is quite happy with how things are going, but wants to make sure they just finish it essentially within this first half. Seven already is pen bloody tabulous. You take that one to the bank, but let's see how many we can get would likely be the discussion. Turning their fates around, as mentioned, they lost to Imperial in the opener, beat Payne in the follow-up. And that's put them here in this 1-1 bucket for day number two of the elimination stage. A team that went pretty quickly through the RMRs. BP... I don't want to say they're perpetually slept upon. They're always a dangerous team. I don't think anybody likes playing against them. Yeah, and no one underestimates Fist bump him, man. Ooh. Well, the game's not going well, is it? No, I know. Yeah, just the body, the body language was very apparent there that uh, Ixon feels like he has to do it all right now. To be fair, the only round they've won is thanks to him and uh, his handiwork at B. And now we're heading to A. God, this VP boys are going for a very avant-garde approach. It's just, it's direct. It's almost not particularly obscured. I mean, you've got one person throwing a flash and a smoke on B, and then you just full exec in. I, I love the way, like, this is what I think Jame does, right? He's like, all right, guys. So here's how we're going to go. Uh, for every event that isn't the major, we'll just play slowly. We'll basically just be doing defaults. So every other event, 
is just going to be us practicing. And then when we get to the major, we you know we'll do some fun stuff. Yeah. We'll get in quick. We'll use the fantastic ability of our rifles like Flit and Fame because they aren't messing about. Look how quick they are into these sights. It's so impressive. Game onto Shush. But the fact is, they threw that util when they were already into the site. So in terms of the CT's expectations of where they could be, it's always they're always ahead of it. They're always be able to kind of uh, surpass the expectation of their opponent. What are you supposed to do here? Like a 10 second defuse isn't gonna happen. You've got five rifles all comfortably set up for the site. Now they're on their way out. I think a part of the conversation from Dustin in the previous would have been, hey, if we could just uh, avoid taking too much damage into the next, that would be ideal. We don't have a huge amount of residual cash, even though we have a big bag of rounds. So let's try and keep it clean. And they've done so successfully. All five staying alive, not a single casualty felled by Heroic in round number nine. And that should be enough to be a buffer to finish off the half. If you could like, if the technology existed where you could like kind of live inside the mind of James for a day, you know, you get to kind of just fully understand his perception. Understand of what of type of tissues he uses. But not, yeah, in the pre-match warm-up. Yeah. But no less that, more like <laughs> the way in which he sees Counter-Strike. Yeah. You know, you can perfectly understand his vision for it. Would you Would you take that? Would you? I'd do it. Yeah? Yeah. Wouldn't that be interesting? Just Ooh. for a day? Yeah, just one day. It's like Freaky Friday. Oh, one of my favorite movies. Unfortunately, he'd have to exist in mine. Yeah, I think that would Poor be fun James. too. <laughs> no, that would be cool. And then you make some content about it. I'd, well, I'd be watching. What's happening here then uh, in the mind of James, Chad? Well, James said, let's slow it down. Mm. We don't want to take any early flak damage. We'll return to... Ooh, okay. Learn how to smoke off lane from outside doors with James. That's thick. I like that one. Uh, write that one down. It's great for retake you two, right? We've already seen them have the little molly over in towards Polly's pocket. I mean, I guess you, you'd still be concerned about the ledge boys if you're not if your mid players haven't aren't holding it, but it, they've cleared it. Actually. Yeah, and it's it also fun. scares the mid players as well because the support is no longer available. Right. Really like this from VP. Not needing to do it out the gates. Oh god, you go in cave. This is going to be yeah, really hard to get past. Tess is with a nice quick reaction. He's taken down Flit, so some revenge from the deep clear we saw previously. They're taking the bomb. They really want to fight for this. Tessus and Kixon to be tested. It's Tessus again that continues to be isolating these jewels one by one. Three fall. Tessus from two frags to five with a triple kill round. Game time, baby. Yeah, it is going to have to be, isn't it? He's still got plenty oodles of cash, but I uh, think of grand scheme. Heroic in pursuit of an 8-4. This is definitely going to be their second. Oh, something just happened on the uh, mainstream. I heard an Anders moment. Ooh. Yeah, there's some big games over there. I'm intrigued to see some other results. Counter terrorists win. And the best of three. What's the first best of three? I just remember being sad. But, I for the winners? Watch it. Yeah. Yeah, that is going to be Mouse versus Complexity. Yes, I was so. I'm very intrigued in watching that one, but I'm going to be working at the time. So uh, we'll have to uh, kind of keep an eye on it, a second eye on it. Well, we could do what a, a maniac does and get up early and sit on the bike in the gym for an hour and watch back all the VODs on two times speed. That's. That's his thing. Yeah. yeah. yeah there's only one bike, so <laughs> yeah, actually, no. we will leave it to him. I saw Brolin doing a bit of that actually yesterday in the gym. Good lad, getting his cardio in, watching the stream. Let's see what Nerds is cooking in mid. Because, uh, it doesn't seem like VP have ever really applied any early mid pressure, but it hasn't been necessary. They're... Well, if you can avoid Nerds, yeah. that's an advised decision. But the fact that they start with these kind of this three player spread towards elbow without ever really kind of vying for the control, I, I'm intrigued. Flit, he does so much work. Or he, he, sometimes it's just Norbert solo. They'll send them for their late uh, pressure B when they're cooking up something towards A. But when the CTs are expending util for doors and B lane and, and mid, right, just allow that to, in standard VP fashion, subside. Right. right. Why take the risk of what's possible and take all that damage when you can just sit back, wait for the first 30 to 40 seconds and then take the territory back a whole lot safer? They have a lot of AMA control thanks to fame. Mia with a red smoke. There's one for all of you playing at home. Quite an easy one. Now clear this. So having Flit pushed up towards the cave position definitely helps. They are able to take mid control. And actually the CTs have blocked off towards Donut. They apply a bit of pressure towards red, but they're battening down the hatches towards B. I think Heroic have a decent idea of what's coming. 
Yeah, 30 seconds. Just mollying back that angle towards the cave. You can see that Pestis is going to be baiting Nikodos into the uh, fight. At least that's the plan. Here comes the molly, though. That's going to limit their options. He wants to be spotted. Tessus commits to the duel. He actually nakes them both back to back. Impressive rounds from Tessus, but the round is not secure just yet. They are into the site. Bomb will be going down thanks to Mir. Despite the heroics of Tessus. Still very losable. Very losable. Name, that name's got his name on it. It's going to be Norbert's that beats him to the punch. Big fight here. If you can take down Nurse cleanly, Mir does so. Puts Shush on notice as well at 12 HP. Norbert and Mir have done surely enough. Nikodos got nothing else to report. A ninth. This T side from VP is leaving no crumbs. Tessas did a fantastic job with that double, didn't he? <laughs> so much pressure that he was under the flames. He actually stood. He saw the molly coming. He knew it. Yeah, he got burnt right down and still gets two kills out of it, but it's just not enough. You can see here, kicks and isolated. Then two players stuck in cave. Tessas thinking, well, I felt like I already did more than I should have. Aggressive play out of Mir. Constricts the push in. Sets Norbert up. To still lose the round after that double. Oh, yeah, heroic. They've got a couple of tilters under their bell here. Two is all you have to boast. If, if probably it will be ten. I'm just so I'm in, enamored oh. by the VP approach. Oh, I said nothing mid. Well, this is why Nerds will shoot you in the back of the head if you don't clear him. And Nikodos should win out against Norbert. Cost him a great deal of his health, but he'll get away with a man advantage. Heroic have had a few rounds in this game. As oh, Flint. <laughs> That I just know I'd hate frustrating playing as all. He might even creep through these smokes here and try no. and go short. Oh, it didn't yeah, go. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah, good check. Good awareness from Kixon. Well, this one's not done yet. And uh, the reason I bring that up is there's been more than a few rounds where Heroic have started in 5v3 advantages. They even had a 4v0 with no kit to be able to defuse. So there's been some rounds where Heroic really should have been converting. But VP have battled back in. The previous is the first recent example of that. Now in a two on three situation, Shush has pushed up in towards main to at least make them have to worry about 180 degrees worth of angles. So does he activate while the bomb's going down? No, he'll wait for his teammates. No, he won't wait for his teammates. No, he won't. And it has led to a much more difficult retake. Oh. Kixon versus James. Shadow and nails the shot. His 11th frag, he's opened up a storm here. Nikodos to fall and a 10th VP round, it's secure. They are speed running this best of one, making Heroic look foolish. Uh, they are indeed. And, and when I counted off the match they had head-to-head -head the other day, which was for qualification for Dallas, an event that's a couple of months away, uh, it was close. It was 13-10 and 13-11, respectively. They didn't make it to the third map, but double digits, whereas this time round, Heroic are, are looking like shells of their former selves. They beat FaZe yesterday. They lost to Complexity in close fashion, 19-17. It wasn't like it was a blowout. This is a different kettle of fish to start the day. Coming in, I don't know if they're cold or maybe just the tilt rounds are piled up because uh, this one has gotten completely out of their hands. Okay, so Heroic of... Uh... Remember this, Alex. From that series I mentioned, VP won all four pistols over two maps, and they won the and pistol to start one. this one. And it was, and you, but you're saying the the results were what 13, 10, 13, Yeah, 11? but but VP won the first pistol. If they win the second pistol, oh, it's, it's right? curtains. So in in three maps of play, in head to head, heroic don't have a pistol. Um, well, this might be the deviation. Look at the start. They just accepting a thing retake on it. The kit's on flip. So James responding. He'll be in temple. So if Jane gets anything, that'll be brilliant. Game. <laughs> Sniping with a USP. Takes off the head of Nikodos. They're into the A site. The whole squad, this horde of VP, maneuvering back to spawn. Game, losing temple control. This has got the same flavor as VP's pistol now. Two, ready for this fight. Tessus will bait them in, tucks them in tight. Good from Norbert back. Nerds is gone. Shush holding this angle. Elevated and if successful flip. Smoke kit. As the smoke has the kit. This gets uncomfortable. This gets uncomfortable, especially with only a pistol to try and spam that smoke. Flit trying to find it. It was a bit deeper than he may have realized. The nade straight on him. Nice find from Kixon. Good use of the HE, but still, has it picked up the kit? Mir, it does. Fakes it out. Kixon trying to slash. 
through the smoke. They're getting stressed, but in the meantime, he's out of there. Team damage. Yeah. All right, well, there it is. Just talking about the emphasis of the pistol and Heroic will be able to grab one. Mir Dave's alive. He gets himself a defuse kit. They pick up that HE off one of the VP players. I, I think they must have. Couldn't tell you. Why but... are you bringing a HE into a... They, I think I'm pretty sure they did. But it came from main. Like, no one from came from main. Didn't it come from Temple? Okay, maybe it did. Put kicks in through it. Well, either way. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'd be, I'd be panicking too. You've heard the sound. Is the smoke still up? And you've already lost a couple of silly ones about defuses. Well, you've had some tilters. Mm -hmm. Losing to a saved kit on Mir and a Zeus upgrade on Flit. Be a pinball special. What uh, Zeus options Flit going to go for here? Let's find out together. Cave is the uh, most tempting of them all, yeah. Skinless. Loser. Do you think it's Nade skins next? I hope not. You hope not? Yeah. Why? I just think it would look ridiculous throwing big dragon balls at everyone How and you, stuff. Well, we, look at what we're doing. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I, don't look ridiculous. Mind, I don't mind the lime green What, are you knife? valuing your realism or something? <laughs> no, it's not about realism. It's just something I've... I don't know. The grenades... Leave the grenades Think about how there. cool a crossover with Valve and Nintendo would Valve be for, a, Pokeball. for a Pokeball. Yeah, I guess And you it... were talking about the Dragon Balls the other day because you didn't know what a Senzu Bean is? Of course I know what a Senzu Bean is, bro. I was only joking. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a Mazzino. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Heroic. That's two in a row. Oh. How will you grow? Like a Senzu Bean? Let's find out, because some healing is required. Heroic, stretch thin. As if they ate a gum gum fruit. There's smoke completely off the map if you look at the radar. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. They are going to waltz in towards an open A site. The boost up into tree for Shush. Quite a powerful position. Mir taking contact from Donut does have the support of Fame, who's starting to trickle in, but he might get a bit of a shock, because here they are. Oh, that's a cheeky flash. Yeah, he's going to get overrun. Double. Oh, it was on the menu, but Mir makes a calculated decision to fall off. Won't have the angle for the plant. Same from Donut, so Nerds gets the bomb in. Will VP take a look at this one? Doesn't look like it. Calculated decision to save. However, Tessus... Is dead. Yeah, it should have at least one nice adjustment. Catching flit through cave. Nerds will take down Mir. So they've lost a lot of rifles in this one. VP's funds and finances to be tested. When do you start uh, having the conversation of the uh, heroic turnaround? Right now. Yeah, I thought, I thought so, as much. Yeah, why not? Okay. Best of one, everything to play for. Big difference to find yourself in the 2 1 bucket as opposed to the 1 2. It'd be back against the wall, survival best of threes. It's never where you want to be. And we've got one of those coming up in a map and a half's time. Mongols versus Pain. Was that coming out of the heroic camp? I can feel it right now. I can feel it right now. I don't know about you guys. And who would that have been? I'm telling you what he's feeling. That like shush. Yeah, because that definitely wasn't nerds. It definitely wasn't VP. Yeah, well, <laughs> I can tell you that. Unless man. we have live translation. <laughs> that would be sick, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, no. So, heroic. This this one should be uh, should be just a pup, but you can see the VP have definitely got an intention, a plan off the rip. Well, the door smoke landed this time round, not off in the middle of nowhere. They loved waltzing up B ramp yesterday against Phase, trying to punish Carrigan. Put around the smoke, looking for a fight. Nikolas needs to be very careful. We saw him uh, in the last ancient game we cast with Heroic. We saw Nikolas just walking up the ramp, taking aim jewels. And definitely certainly got this in his uh, repertoire. Fame, ooh, catching flak from the spam. Picks it, got good lineup for this. And that's what I'm saying. Nikodos, he loves these jewels. That was a boosted player, but just to it in time. Well, even yesterday on Vertigo, if people were watching the complexity game, he was hardly ever buying the orb. I think Nerds was picking it up more than him, especially as the game went late. And some of the plays from Nikodos with the rifles, not even just the AK, he would stay very calm, he would back his aim, be very confident. And yourself an Orba who can do both. Isn't that cool? The fact that they've just waited around long enough outside B, the B stack is no more. 
BP have misread this one, and Nertz is only going to force the rotate further by being spotted out in Donut, getting the frag onto fame. Now they can exec into B, and there's no one home. What a dream. I don't know if this is by design or just a, a, an interesting twist of fate. Are they following through? There's multiple players searching through middle, and the bomb is also pivoting. There's oh. 20 seconds left. Yeah, but wait, but Vikados has got... Now they're going back. Yeah. They have to worry about cave, so you can see Kixen somewhat cautious. It is fortunate that Nertz went down in that fashion, and they continued to search on Nikodos. Otherwise, they would have had a real issue. I saw your heart stop for a moment. <laughs> oh, gosh. Especially after I've just said, oh, wow, this is a, such a lovely, a wide-open bombsite as they start to run straight back into the stack. Well, that is a heroic sixth. See, I saw yesterday uh, there was a little sign near the lift, and it was saying on the... 19th floor mm. that you can go and test the 540 hertz Zowie monitor. Ooh. Because I want to I want to buy one. I should have gone and tested it. Why don't we go have a fiddle after a while? I will see if they're still doing the testing today. Yeah. 540 hertz. I remember when 120 hertz was all the rage. Oh, dude, I remember. I bought a second-hand 120 hertz monitor off of a guy at LAN. Your life changed. I, I remember taking it home and feeling like I'd it's like a child. I'd bought like uh, almost, it was, I was cheating. A surprise possession. From 60 hertz to 120, bro. That now is we're at 540. Life changing. Here's the uh, shot that toppled the stack. And here's the moment where Alex's heart almost stopped. Whew. All good in the hood. Uh, and, it's, it's only four rounds now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the CT economy. We saw it from uh, the lens of Heroic. Now we're going to see it through the lens of VP. Well, the type of rounds that Heroic lost, they probably should have won. Here's the Dust Down Classic. Cover your mouth. Don't let anybody see what you're saying. Apparently, it's because the people on Telegram, they lip read him. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, why don't we... Well, I guess... Why don't we do that in English? You don't care. Okay. Well, Dustan, keep your secret safe, my friend. How much of a secret could it be, man? Well, I like it. Yeah. I think it's great. I think everyone should be doing it. Keep it up. Give him a clipboard. Let him put that in front of his face. Yeah, or, or you get one of those masks where it's just... It, they get a picture of his mouth shut. Yeah, okay. And he wears the mask yeah, over there. That's not pretty bad. Good. Right, well, you the... think he's taking a drink there. That's actually just continuing <laughs> to mask. <laughs> okay. He's also a master mime. Yeah. No, it's not a mime. It's a thing with a puppet. It doesn't matter. The master mime. James with an orb. Three towards B. They're going to brave the smoke. Oh, so, AC? Yeah, still wanting to harass this lane. Nick I'm, it does. I'm telling you, he just loves to walk up the ramp and take fights. Anyone? Step into my crosshair. No, but obliges. That was a wide swang. And it's led to an early frag, VP in pursuit of their 11th. It's been a moment or, or two be between their uh, last round posted. That's that's one way to uh, deal with that round play. Just swing as wide as you possibly can. Norbert think he's playing from home on 80 ping. Makes it work. The 80 ping wide swing. I wonder if my flash hit kicks in as you hear him unload his magazine. Well, that's a short smoke. Still three towards B. This is a powerful setup. Let's Scope see. would have been heard. How heroic approach this. Tessis has been impressing and he's already dead. It's James peeks through. Haven't even revealed flit yet. Nerds will check him. Good clear. Jane forced away through the smoke. There's something to be said about this one. A re-smoke from Norbert deployed. That's very nice. They, if, they, if they want to come through that, they can just strafe out. And they've gotten, they've found the window of opportunity. Jane was not holding Nertz's strafe. I thought that was his responsibility. Two on the flank. Number's disadvantage. Shush holding this, though. That's a hard clear for Fame. He's not going to check it. Clean one. Mir now worried about what is... Hello. Free frag. Make it two. Ooh. Kicks and down. Huge from Mir. And it's Norbert to put the cherry on top. VP 11. And they break through. Convincing defense of the B side. And it all started with that Norbert wide swing. It ends with some nice cohesive play. Mir with a double kill. And that feels like another tilter, though, if you're heroic, right? The fact that Miz slipped past and he was just unsuspected, able to push down towards the tall box and get a double from that position. Heroic are going to be wondering, how have we just given that one over? Sure, you had the disadvantage. You had to battle hard just to get into the side to get the bomb down, but back turned, frags given over, kicks and unable to connect the dots for the trade. A difficult position to find yourself, and Norbert just sweeps in with the final and the defuse. Money for a heroic buy, but they need to bounce back immediately or VP will find 12. Quick, smart. Cave smoke. Molly top of the ramp. It's uh, 
two-man campaign to try and get themselves early space. The nade is responsible for holding on to Jag here. He was the one that was uh, finding making Tessa's defense of it rather difficult in the first half. Excuse me. Well, they have the mid control that they've been looking for. The VP not harassing and jumping up the lane, but they will have Ooh. Flit doing an awful lot of damage onto Tessus. This is an A split. Two towards main, three towards mid. Feels like VP have always got the uh, well-timed smoke in these uh, mid rounds from Heroic, trying to pivot through. Bomb going in main, Jane responsible for red. Got a double donut set up as well. So VP, they're... Oh, very, Beautiful. very well situated for this. A nice deep and center. He almost flushed them into the donut setup. And they're blocking them longer. Oh, there's so much utility. Feels like they've got infinite smokes. Oh, okay. Not going to hit that shot. Nurt is across, so pressure mounting. He can still contribute against a main. Shush down. And they're probably sitting there going, what happened to you by pushing CT? Now, uh, oh, a hard clear. They're not expecting this. Flit in a prime Safe. position and a 12th round for VP, practically secure. Oh, Tessus will be able to put one in his head, but there's a lot more where that came from. Fame in mid, trading out together. He might go down after time. Mm, it's certainly not out of the realms of possibility, is it? Well, the, the key for me is the push down B. That's completely taken. These mid guys might feel emboldened by that and want to start charging through as well. Five, four, better before time, it will be just. So he's going to get some loss bonus, but... Oh dear. Uh, uh, for me, the level of aud audaciousness that has just been displayed by Jane. Oh, they're pushing me red and I've taken a shot, but I'm going to neglect them to turn my focus, literally turn my back on the pressure point. And he grabs a kill over towards A main. That is massive from Jane. But I feel like that's something that good orpers do often is that they know... The, the fear that they've the just fear, struck. Yeah, the fear of just, if I, because peeking into an orb feels terrible. Yeah. It absolutely sucks. So after he's fired a shot, both of the red players are going to freeze. They're, they're, they're playing against an orb. But in the meantime, Jame exploits that and then manages to con find contributions and reposition. So that's our daddy orb uh, demonstrating. And they'll be very happy with that one. VP now touching distance, spitting distance from converting this best of one. Well, Nikodos has been able to get out the AWP once more. It's not AKs across the board. There's two Galils, one for Kicks and one for Shush. But I think a game Heroic would hope to forget. A lot of rounds where they've had number advantages, a few tilts in the early stages, not having a kit, not having enough time to defuse. And Saw has been unable to defuse the situation. Boost towards B on the tall box. Nikodos. Chance to hold this line with the AWP, but Jame says no. That's the opening incision for round number 13 for VP. It's a gamer. Split that. Some aggressive chip damage. He's going to be making it very clear that Cave is under his control. Continues to win the spams. Nixon, yeah. Baited <laughs> oh, in. Baited in by himself. Just Flit, hyper aware of the possibility. Nixon lulled into that, and already Flit disappears. He's gone. He's back with his boys, ready to trade out in a two-man discrepancy. James taking down Tessus. VP are so comfy right now. This is an impressive feat on Ancient. And Heroic, a bit of a non-starter, wouldn't you say? Some of the yeah. rounds they lost in that first half, I think, kind of just set them up for, for failure. The ramifications of the tilt rounds, they definitely built early. I am just uh, flicking through the kill feed as we come to our logical conclusion in, mm. well, probably less than 40 seconds time, just to see how many number advantage scenarios were given up. One to find, that'll be it. Mir takes down Shush, and there you have it. VP are gonna bounce back. They are in the two to one bucket. That is them done as far as best of ones. That's lost to uh, Imperial to start their campaign here at the Major can be forgotten. A 13-9 over Pain, and now a dominant victory over Heroic, the team that took down FaZe yesterday in their...